guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Gidija and I'm a fourth year MBBS student. I am also a YouTuber and I make content related to med school, productivity, study hacks, positivity and everything that catches my interest. So if at all you're new to my channel, then make sure you subscribe because it is completely free and totally worth it. So now let's talk about today's video. We all know that this MBBS journey has a very, very, very vast syllabus to cover. And sometimes it just becomes too difficult to sit at one place for hours together and keep watching those lectures. Well, we all are lucky enough that when we were stuck in the pandemic, we had these apps at our rescue like Marrow, Repladder, Unacademy, which made this process so much more easier because we have access to all the subjects by just one click. So I was very grateful enough that I made a decision to go for the app called Marrow. If at all you want to know more details about the app, I made this video about it. I will link it above and in the description box below as well. So make sure you check it out if at all you're looking forward to buy Marrow. And no matter which app you're using right now, may it be Marrow, Unacademy, Prepladder, etc, etc, doesn't matter because the process is just the same. You need to watch lectures, you need to understand the concept, make your own notes and revise. But this cycle becomes boring at some times and we just can't complete the syllabus and it increases the stress levels. So I found a very perfect and very easy solution for you guys. So make sure you watch this video till the end. If at all you want to know this one hack, which is going to change your med school life forever and for good. So guys, the hack or solution that I'm going to tell you is divided into three steps. Let's talk about step number one, which is plan your time if at all your exam is say two or three months away or xyz months away then all you need to do is focus on the lengthy or tougher subjects first because then you'll get done with the hard part and all you are left with is the simpler tasks or simpler subjects which require less time so number one just write down the number of lectures in each subject in each category that you're left with keep on ticking once you complete all those lectures and if at all you know certain concepts already you can just skip through it let's talk about step number two step number two is notice where you're spending most of your time while watching those video lectures for me i used to take 70 percent of the entire time for making my notes i know Note taking is a very important and essential step when you're studying any subject. But sometimes it becomes a very tiring and tedious process. And then I already had the soft copy of the notes within the app, but then I realized that I need to get the hard copy of these notes. So the books that you're seeing right over here are the notes provided by Maro. I already made a very detailed video about the unboxing and review of the Maro notes. So if at all you're interested to buy these, you can watch this video. I will link it above and in the description box below as well. So make sure you check it out. And I know that each and every app right now provides their printed or handwritten notes. So this is a great investment because if it was a one hour lecture, I used to take about three to four hours to complete the same because I used to pause the video, write down the notes, then again begin watching it, write down the notes by pausing it again. And this cycle took so much of time that I just couldn't cope up with the syllabus. So I decided to get these notes and then all I needed was a pen to write down extra points and highlight whatever was given in them. It reduced my time of watching the lecture so much that I could literally complete three to four lectures at a stretch rather than just taking my own notes and completing one lecture per day. So here, this step made a huge difference. So make sure you check out if your app or your website that you are referring to provides notes because if you get ready-made notes, it becomes very easy and you can always attach sticky notes or write extra points if you want to. But 90% of the notes will be covered and it will save a lot of time. Now let's move on to step number three, the life-changing step, which was you just sit down 
and apply the five minute rule. Five minute rule refers to the process of just doing that particular task for five minutes when you're not at all interested in it. For example, you're not interested to clean your room. Just start cleaning your room for five minutes. Take a timer for five minutes and start doing the simpler things that you can do. And you will end up doing your entire task that you had planned. Similarly, if at all you're just not interested to watch the lecture, sit down and start watching the lecture for five minutes. And I am sure you will sit for more duration of time. You will sit for more than that and then just apply the Pomodoro technique. To know about these two techniques in detail, you can refer to this playlist, which is about the study talk. I have made two separate videos regarding both of these hacks and trust me, they work like magic. So now comes the main part of this hack, which is sit down with the app in your phone, iPad, laptop, etc. Just sit with that one device and nothing else. No notebook, no pencil, no stationery, no notes, nothing. Just sit with that app in your device and start watching the lecture and increase the playback speed according to your level of comfort. Like for example, I am comfortable listening to a few lectures at 2x speed while for some I am just comfortable with like 1.5x speed or like 1.25. It's just that don't watch it at the normal speed. Increase the speed and watch it. Like if at all a lecturer is very slow in speech, then you can just complete it within half the time if you switch to double the speed. So just adjust the speed according to your comfort. And all you need to do is take your device, sit down and just focus on that lecture. No note taking, nothing. Once you're done watching the lecture, all you need to do is sit down, close your eyes and then recall the entire lecture within 10 minutes. Just sit down, close your eyes and think about the first point of the lecture to the end. Once you have taken all the points into consideration, you need to take a sheet of paper and write down all the points in the form of a flowchart. You cannot make sentences. All you need to do is write the keywords and make a very short and concise plan about the entire lecture. Just summarize it in one small page. Just sit down and write the process in the form of a flowchart by just using the keywords. If at all you're not able to recall few parts of the lecture or you're not getting the concept, then you can anyways go back to the lecture and watch just that specific part. Once you're done with this process, all you need to do is pick up your notes and scan through everything. In this way, you will revise your lecture four times. Once when you're watching it, once when you close your eyes and recall everything, then when you're writing it in the form of a flowchart and then when you're reading your notes. For example, it is a one hour lecture. You increase the playback speed, you complete it in less time. Point number one. Point number two, you recall everything. So it brings a very strong emotion into your mind that you can remember what you watched rather than just having and scanning through the notes as soon as you complete the lecture. So you gain that confidence that, okay, I understand what, what has been taught and then you can recall it. The concepts which you cannot remember or cannot recall are then revised. So this brings a very strong concept over here that you can just build the concepts which you are just not getting and be strong at it. Point number four, once you're done and you scan through the notes, you get a much deeper and a very clearer aspect of that particular subject. And moreover, you're saving your time. If it is a one hour lecture, Playback time is reduced, note taking time is reduced, your revision has been done, you can just complete it if at all you follow this process religiously and you will never have to get back to that lecture again and again because you just can't remember anything out of it. Revision is absolutely the key but active recall and this technique has worked wonders for me. It is a magical process. Do try it out. Sit with nothing, just the app, watch the lecture, close your eyes, recall what has happened, write down it in the form of a flowchart. Once you're done with that, go through your notes, write down the concepts again and again, which you just cannot remember. Go back to the lecture if you are in need of it and you're done. This is the best study method 
ever for no matter which app you're using. And if at all you have any other video recommendations or any other hacks that have worked for you, mention it in the comment section below or you can also DM me on my Instagram which I will mention over here. I will also provide a link for the same in the description box below. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram and get in touch. If at all this video was helpful for you, you know the drill, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for sticking till the end and just believe in yourself because you are going to complete the syllabus, my friend, and you're going to achieve all the success that you wish for. Till then, don't forget to have your cup of positivity and thank you so much for watching this video.